Bombshell ruling on abortion rights out of Arizona. The state Supreme Court decided to uphold an 1864 law that bans the procedure with almost no exceptions. Rachel Scott starts us off. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning to you. This is a law that was passed during the Civil War, 48 years before Arizona even became a state. But in a landmark decision, the Arizona Supreme Court justices have now cleared the way for that ban to go into effect, and it is turning up the heat on an issue that could define this election. This morning, Arizona is bracing for one of the strictest abortion bans in the country after the state Supreme Court revived a 160 year old law. The near total Civil War era ban that continues to hang over our heads only serves to create more chaos for women and doctors in our state. The law was written in 1864, before Arizona was even a state and before women had the right to vote. No exceptions for rape or incest, only to protect the mother's life. The ruling by the Arizona court referring 22 times to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe versus Wade. Donald Trump has boasted of appointing three of the six justices who overturned Roe. Just this week, he said states should make their own laws when it comes to abortion. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land. In this case, the law of the state. President Biden calling the ban extreme, dangerous, and cruel. Biden and Trump both know that abortion rights has won in all six states where it has been on the ballot, including in conservative states like Kansas, Kentucky, and Ohio. This November, it could be on the ballot in 14 states, including Battleground, Arizona. And overnight, several Republicans in that state distancing themselves from the ruling. GOP Senate candidate Carrie Lake, who once vocally supported the law, now saying it's out of step with Arizonans. And Republican Congressman Juan Siscomani calling the decision a disaster for women and providers. Frustration felt on both sides of the aisle. Arizona Democratic lawmaker Eva Birch recently had an abortion after she learned her pregnancy was non-viable. Somebody gave me a procedure so that I wouldn't have to experience another miscarriage, the pain, the mess, the discomfort. And now we're talking about whether or not we should put that doctor in jail. Doctors who perform abortions could face up to five years in prison. The need for reproductive health care and abortion care doesn't go away in a state where it's made illegal. The legality of it doesn't affect the needs. Dr. Shelley Tien is an OBGYN specializing in high-risk pregnancies in Arizona. She also works as an abortion provider in three states. These decisions should only be left up to patients and to completely rob patients and families from being able to you know, make these decisions. It's truly, truly, it's terrible. It, it's cruel. On the other side of this, anti-abortion rights groups are celebrating this decision, insisting that it protects the lives of countless unborn children. The justices in Arizona have now put this ruling on hold for 14 days, so abortion clinics in that state tell us that they still plan to continue to provide their services for a short period of time, George. Okay, Rachel, it is very clear that this issue is going to be at the center of this presidential election. Rachel Scott, thanks very much.